Three years ago, the traffic signal at Todd Avenue and Palmyra Road in Warren was changed to a flashing light. Now, a lot of people want it changed back to slow traffic down. At a meeting this afternoon, members of Warren City Council learned they have the power to make the light fully functional again. But it was suggested the Ohio Department of Transportation first give its approval. The light at Palmyra and Todd is our top story tonight at 10. 30 people attended the Warren City Council meeting, but a lot more were there in spirit. This is personal because 600 people signed a petition to say we want our light back. Warren resident Leah Dodson was among those asking at the traffic signal at Palmyra and Todd be switched from flashing yellow to fully functional. We want the light back. And the reality of the situation is this meeting was called so that it is explicitly clear to everybody in this room that there is no legal ramifications as to why we can't have it back. But Eddie Colbert, director of safety and service, said five years ago in a meeting with the Ohio Department of Transportation, he was presented with a plan to remove 20 lights and was told they must be removed. They said, well, director, let me tell you what the law says. And they went on to speak about how you shall be compliant, not you should, so on and so forth. People in the neighborhood call it Todd Raceway now. Vicey Walker lives at the intersection. His wheelchair ramp has been damaged by crashes twice in eight months. Taking the light out didn't help. City engineer Paul McCoskey said in the three years since the light was changed, there have been three to four accidents a year, same as the 10 years before. There was nothing statistically that was changed before or after. But Councilman Todd Johnson said statistics don't always tell the whole story. People drive through yards and nearly hit our house or our children, and it doesn't necessarily get reported. Councilwoman Helen Rucker said there needs to be more of a police presence at the intersection. And Law Director Enzo Candela Mesa told Council they can make the signal become fully functional again, but he recommended they first consult with ODOT to make sure it's compliant with state law and won't make the city liable in the event of a crash. There were two other Warren intersections where signals were removed and where it was suggested they be replaced. One was at East Market Street and Country Club Drive, the other at Parkman Road and Denison Drive. Hi everyone, I'm Lindsay Watson. Thanks for watching the WKBN 27 First News YouTube channel. If you want more video news, subscribe to our channel and don't forget to download the WKBN 27 First News app for breaking news alerts.